My name is Matt Mock, um, 44 years old, lived in Warsaw all my life, uh, work at Medtronics, three kids, granddaughter. Um, I um, work for my dad, the auction business. If anybody knows me, I'm an auctioneer. Um, haven't really been to church all my life, but haven't really follow the Word of God. So I'm, I'm, I'm driving home from church one day and I see um, I see a car for sale. Um, so I stop, uh, not knowing whose vehicle it is, but anyway, I, um, I grabbed the uh, phone number and gave him a call and uh, agreed to meet. I think it might have been even the next day, but I um, uh, met this guy, <clears throat> whiter hair, you know, tall, thin guy, no idea who he was, and um, I got to talking with him. We talked about the car. Came up with the price. I bought it. No big deal. It's just another another car purchase. Um, took it home. Actually, he delivered it. Uh, took it home, and um, a couple weeks later, realized I lost the title. It was um, it was it was washed in with my clothes, and um, um, I didn't know what else to do besides contact the gentleman again. I had the for sale sign left over, and called him up, and uh, super nice guy. It says, yeah, I do whatever you want. What do you What do you need me to do for you? And um, not what I expected. Most people would be like, tough. Um, so a few weeks went by. I got the title. Um, I got to meet with the gentleman. He uh, he had the title in his hand and and uh, shook his hand. And I noticed he had a mountain bike in his garage. I like the mountain bike. And uh, we got to talking. And he told me. Um, he was part, uh, you know, uh, of this group of guys that rode. He wasn't going to have time to ride with me, but he would um, definitely hook me up with the group that he rides with. Still not knowing, you know, I, I've seen him around, um, but not knowing what I was in for. You guys yeah. told me there was a trip going out that, that week, and um, I said, um, there's no way. I tell you what I'll do, uh, I'll... <clears throat> put in for a vacation day if I get it I'll go if I don't and uh, you know something was tugging on me it, in, in church I go to WCC and um, something's been tugging on me to get more involved more involved and um, second mile had given me this opportunity <clears throat> so I go on this trip and I'm with this group of guys that completely blew my mind. I just sat in the back, <clears throat> kind of kept to myself. Um, they prayed us off. And I'm watching all these guys in different walks of life. Um, st still didn't know at the time that guys like me who have struggles like me. And um, just a great group of guys. It's been a great ride. With you guys, I was at uh, I was at work and um, I actually ran my machine and um, had one of these episodes. I sent out a message to um, I think I sent a message to you, uh, to Will, and uh, to Brent. Um, I need more. Uh, they got me started in a, um, a Bible study with Carrie and Steve, and you'll be joining us, and Will Foss and Corey. Um, it's been great. Um, I, I've noticed a big change in myself and uh, my attitude, um, but God's been good to me. He has been the whole time, but I guess I just thought it was me. If you knew me. You wouldn't believe him, you know, what it's done. huge 
I wasn't the best person. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but I'm um, pray about it. Yeah, um, we'll see. I wish I knew. <laughs> Maybe it's good I don't. It's been a good ride and I'm looking forward to it. And then, you know, just to, like I said, to find out that, um, especially in our Bible study, that the struggles. I'm not the only one, um, which is kind of what I thought. A lot of people think that. But to have that bond with you guys now that, um, you know, other guys to go to when I'm having guy issues that I can, I can reach out and say, hey, I need some help here. I've already at work, I've had people come up and um, say stuff to me, you know, I, uh, I don't notice a big change in your life, what, uh, what are you doing? I told them about the Bible study, one lady even was like, uh, can I have the name of that book you're reading? Um, so I gave it to her, she wanted her husband to read it, she said, because if it can change you like that, I want to see that change in my husband. I can't explain it. I would never thought, you know, a year ago, buying a buying a car, which I do once a week, would uh, turn into this. It's to me, second mile adventures is men leading other men to Christ. men who have been through what other men have been through and maybe be able to mentor people like myself through struggles that I'm having right now. I have them every day. If you're if you're thinking I don't know what this group's all about, you know, I I'd definitely say get a hold of one of one of you guys or get a hold of me. You won't regret it. So, if you're out there and you, you just, you're feeling that tug, um, like I was, uh, this group of guys grabbed a hold of me, took me on a fall trip. Um, I'd suggest it to anybody. If you're just, if you're wondering what we're all about, um, I've been with Second Mile for just three months, four months. Um, go on a trip, get to know us. That's all it's going to take. I guarantee it. You'll be hooked. <laughs>